going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Filmora tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to record a voiceover with Filmora's voiceover feature. It's actually really cool and really simple to do. And I'm also going to show you guys how to record your screen. If you guys didn't know that, uh, Filmora does actually allow you to record your screen, which is pretty cool um, because you don't want to spend more money with another uh, software to record your screen and uh, Filmora uh, has that uh, ability for you and it's actually really simple so we're gonna start off with the voiceover first so you wanna go ahead and import your video you guys can do that by going onto the media import and I have some footage here uh, that I chose and uh, go ahead and just drop that into the project manager right here or the media folder which is where all of your files are located Go ahead and select your video or the picture that you want to go ahead and use. It can be, you guys can use uh, photos as well. It doesn't have to be videos. So you want to go ahead and uh, select your video or picture. And we're going to go ahead and mute this first because we don't want to hear the audio of our clip. You want to go ahead and click on this little microphone button and it says voiceover. So go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to bring up a voiceover window. And then it says record audio from. So currently we have two. We have the built-in microphone, which is our uh, MacBook, um, just our basic standard built-in microphone. And uh, and then we have the Scarlett 2i2 USB, which is a audio interface that I'm currently recording with. Unfortunately, um, somehow, I guess it won't work with uh, Filmora when I'm using ScreenFlow at the same time, so I won't be able to use it. But I'm just going to do the built-in microphone. So whatever you have plugged in into your MacBook or your iMac or even your PC, of course, because Filmora works with uh, PC as well, uh, you guys can do that as well. But I currently have the built-in microphone, but if you guys have something else, go ahead and choose it from there. And then it gives you this little time code with the duration of how long it's going to be recording. So you want to go ahead and click on the start button to begin recording and click OK to finish. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording. So I'm going to click on start and it gives you a little countdown. So when you are ready to record, it's going to go ahead and automatically play the video. As you can see here, this is just my school's baseball team uh, last summer. So when you're ready to end it, just click on stop and you can see the duration of the video or the audio has edited it into the timeline, which is really nice. So when you're finished, just click OK. And then from here, you guys can go ahead and go back and listen to it. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this. So I'm going to push play. It's going to go ahead and automatically play the video. As you can see here, this is just my school's baseball team uh, last summer. So, so we have that. Now, if you want to go ahead and fine tune or edit your audio, it's very simple. Just right click go on to the inspector window here so here you can actually change the pitch so the way you sound like or you can make it sound a little bit more evil uh, you guys can do that as well uh, you also can fade in your audio so maybe you want it to gradually increase as you are talking you can do that as well you can move the amount of the fade in and you can even fade it out as well to match it to 1.4 seconds so from here you have the volume of course you can decrease or increase the volume depending on how quiet or how loud the audio is you guys can even speed up or lower the speed um, so yeah the speed and the pitch is kind of the same thing however the speed will just make it faster it won't make your it won't really change your voice in a way um, it'll just speed it up so then we have the equalizer you guys can actually add a equalizer you guys can do dance if you wanted to and if you click this little settings icon you guys can go ahead and customize the equalizer so maybe we want to make our voice to sound more acoustic you guys can select acoustic and you guys can click this and move it um, up or down um, just like that and change the values click save so we also have the denoise option which will allow you to remove background noise so if you guys have a fan in the background and you want to get rid of it Filmora will try its best to go ahead and remove that audio or the background noise so we have some couple of options we have weak mid and strong so weak is where you don't have that much background noise and mid is when it's a little bit loud but not too loud and if you have a lot of background noise you want to go ahead and choose the strong option to remove the background noise so when you're ready you want to go ahead and click on ok or reset to undo all of the settings here all right guys so the next option or the next feature that I want to show you guys is the ability to record your screen and it's actually really cool and really simple to do of course so if you guys hover over to the camera icon next to the 
voiceover button here, you're going to have the record screen option. And this will allow you to record your screen. So it's just going to bring up a new window. And then it gives you a couple of settings that you guys can change. So right here we have the full screen. Um, if you want to record everything on your screen as you see now. Or you want to change uh, the screen size. So you can do custom. And maybe you just want to record this area of the screen. You guys can do that as well. And uh, Or you can just type in the width and the height for the dimensions. You also have the ability to record um, with your microphone just like with the voiceover and you guys can even uh, record the system audio uh, which just records what you hear from the computer and uh, when you're ready just click the record button but you also have a couple of more advanced settings I guess the save to option this is where it's gonna save the files to and I would save it to the desktop just because it's easier to find you guys can change the frame rate to 15 24 25 and 30 just keep it at 30 frames because that's just standard TV and web. Uh, quality, we want to keep that at high. You guys can even set a record timer, which is pretty cool. So if you want to set a timer to just five minutes, you can do that. And then it stops automatically at five minutes. Or you can have that unchecked. So you guys have the uh, mouse option. So it will show the mouse whenever you click on your screen and uh, you guys can choose the color as well so if you want that you can do that I don't so I just leave it off you guys can even play a, a, a sound when you're when you click on the mouse so that's pretty cool and you have the start and stop hotkey just like in screen flow um, currently it's set to shift command 2 or if you're on a PC it's shift control 2 um, and the camera you guys can even if you guys have a webcam hooked up to your computer you guys can record it with this one here so you can record from camera simultaneously so that's really cool when you're ready just click record and then it's gonna go ahead and prepare to record and it gives you a countdown so now it's recording whatever is in here as well as my voice so whatever I do in this screen this will just show up right here which is pretty cool so uh, when you're ready just click this little uh, little circle on the top and click stop recording and this will go ahead and open up a window and then from there you guys can edit it and do whatever you guys want to you guys can trim it crop it um, detach the audio and move it around if you want yeah I mean if you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful in any way please leave a rating below that'll be much appreciated comment down what you guys want to see next I do have another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial scheduled later so yeah um, I will catch you guys on my next video so until then peace out take care and enjoy your day